My name is Rosina. I'm a banker, I'm a biker, an event planner. <laughs> I let one out. <laughs> Salsa dancer. Let's go again, don't worry. Hello, once again, this is Salsa Rosie and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Just hurry up, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on the notification button so that you can get more of this content every time. Now, this episode, I'm discussing seven ways to handle a breakup or seven ways to deal with a breakup, really. Um, breakups don't come, I mean, people don't expect to break up. When you get into a relationship, the agenda or the idea is to build a meaningful relationship with your partner, possibly end up in marriage and live happily ever after. That's a fairy tale of all relationships. But unfortunately, for some relationships, this fairy tale needs to come to an end or just comes to an end. Sometimes through your fault, sometimes they are your partner's fault. Whichever way it happens, sometimes the relationship just ends up in a breakup. Now, how do you deal with a breakup, especially if you're the one that was broken up with? I don't know if that's making sense. Okay, if your partner breaks up with you, yes. How do you deal with a breakup? First and foremost, take a moment and let it sink in that your partner has broken up with you. You need to be in touch with reality. Trust me, when your partner breaks up with you, it is not a mistake. It is not something like walking and mistakenly, you know, just stepping into a pothole. That is not what a breakup is. A breakup is intentional and the, your partner really has an agenda to not be with you again. So just take a moment, let it sink in, be in touch with reality and know that you are actually going through a breakup. Number two, when your partner breaks up with you, calm down and diagnose the relationship. Sometimes when you are in the relationship because you want it to work, what happens is that you make a lot of excuses for all those red flags, you make a lot of excuses for all the mistakes, all your unhappiness, everything you go through, you always have an excuse for it. You know what? Yeah, he's like this, but I know he likes me. Well, he's verbally abusive, but you know, he's very generous. Well, he's this, he's that. Oh, well, she's a good cook in spite of everything. Oh my God, she's a good hostess. If you put her in a room full of friends, look, my God, she's going to be the best thing since sliced bread, you know, and all of that. So we try and make up for shortcomings and mistakes and all the red flags in the relationship. My dear, calm down. Diagnose the relationship properly. Most often than not, you probably come to the agreement that look, the, red, the, the breakup was actually a step in the right direction. Number three, when you're going through a breakup, know that the decision to break up was thought through and it's an actual decision of the one breaking up with you. Don't make excuses. Look, it's not because of another woman. It's not because of another man. It's not because of a better opportunity. It's not because of something else. It is simply because the person wants to break up with you. Sometimes we end up hating another woman, especially women. You end up hating another woman and trying to make the other woman be the source of your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife breaking up with you. Trust me, nobody can make your partner break up with you if they don't want to break up with you. So trust me, if your boyfriend, your girlfriend is breaking up with you, it's because they actually do want to break up with you. Don't blame any third party. It is their decision and their decision solely. Number four, to handle a breakup properly, don't chase closure. Now, closure is the biggest trap to fall into when you're handling a breakup. Because most often than not, I don't know whether it's because the party that's breaking up with you wants to manage your emotions, wants to manage how hurtful it is. They can actually lie to you about the reason why they're breaking up with you. Oh, have you ever heard of the statement, it's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. I don't know what's up with me. Um, look, there may be lies, but don't go chasing closure. I've had real life situations where people have gone chasing closure and only end up, ended up having sex with a person and then there's a baby coming out of, you know, that mistaken, you know, one night, you know, chasing of closure. So chasing closure, look, when the time is right, your closure is going to come. When the time is right, tempers are calm, emotions are calm, and you have moved on. 
sometimes you actually get the closure much 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 later when you don't actually be needed anymore so don't chase closure because chasing closure will only set you chasing after ghosts and not really what you need to hear or what you have to hear or more so just a bunch of lies being told to you that even makes the makeup even more dreadful even more painful number five when going through a breakup learn how to take care of yourself it is not the end of the world it is painful i have been through a breakup before and <laughs> i had to spend about three days three days i don't even know how i survived those three days it was so painful it was so hurtful and even after that i went through various emotional turmoils and you know name it i've been there but when you are going through a breakup remind yourself to take care of yourself when I say take care of yourself, what do I mean? How you look, what you eat, where you go. Be intentional about making yourself happy. You see a lot of people, you know, get stressed, take a lot of alcohol, eat excessive food, probably join bad company, do all manner of things because they are hurting. But when you're going through a breakup, learn how to take good care of yourself. There are instances where people have broken up with people and when the other the party that's been broken up with handles it very well you realize that the partners see them later on and they regret even breaking up with them they wonder whether it is the same lady whether the same gentleman they were with that they are seeing right now so please take care of yourself when you're going through a breakup because it's definitely not the end of the world there's always light at the end of the tunnel number six very very important when you're going through a breakup, be very slow into jumping into another relationship. Be very cautious because most of the time when you get out of one relationship, you're on edge. You're stressed, you're angry, you're annoyed, you are going through all manner of emotional turmoil. You are not in the right frame of mind to jump into another relationship. Now, the chances that you're jumping to the relationship to prove a point to your previous partner that, yes, you can jump ship when, as and whenever you want is very high. You get into a new relationship and a few months down the line, you realize that this is also not a relationship I want to be in. So, when you end one relationship, take care of yourself. Diagnose the issues. Make sure you take care of yourself. Build yourself up. Build up your your, your, your self-worth, your self-value. Be sure that you want another relationship before you go into another relationship so you can enjoy the relationship and you don't put that new partner, hmm? Hmm? you don't put that new partner in a headache mode, okay? So make sure that you're settled, you've dealt with the past relationship, you've had your form of closure. I'm not talking about closure from the past, from the party, but closure for yourself and you are ready to move on before you actually move on to another relationship. Now, the last but not the least, if all these things fail, you're trying so hard to get over the relationship. You've tried new things. You've tried taking care of yourself. You've done all these things and it's not working. My dear, make sure you talk to a therapist. In our part of the world, it's very difficult to find people opening up to therapists, but it's important because Breakups are not very easy. For some people, breakups actually send them to the psychiatric hospital. So before you get there, make sure that you take good care of yourself. And if you're not able to do it on your own, please talk to a therapist so that you can get help, heal yourself and move on. Once again, it has been Salsa Rosie. Hope you enjoyed this session. And hopefully you will not end up being a sore loser when you're broken up with. Please still hold your head up high because you are very valuable as a person. Don't let anybody break you down because of the breakup. Thank you. If you do like this, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification button so that you can get more of this content every week. Thank you. Or every day, whatever. Is it okay? Okay. Salsa Rosie.